Hello, hello, hello everyone. Love Purple Poodle here, and I am here with a game called Fay Farm. This is one of the few really big farming simulators I have managed to never play. So we're here doing that. I hope it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know it's very magical. No, this is better. Um, skin color. I'm more like... That. Okay. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with character customization. <laughs> All right, and with that, we are finished. Without further ado, oh wait, no, I'm trying to hold the select button, but I actually need to, like. Hold this. I'm a little. I'm a little slow, apparently. Also, again, sorry my voice sounds a little weird. I'm still recovering from allergies. Spring allergies kick my butt every year. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Oh wait, no, hold. What am I thinking? Walking on the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle inviting me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart, and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous, and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed, and then I saw it. Welcome. Or chapter one, welcome to Azaria? I don't know. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I'm sure I'll hear it here. I just realized I never changed the hair color. Oh well. Uh, hi. Hello. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Uh, physically or mentally? Your name is Low Purple when you found a message in a bottle? Yeah. Ooh. Excellent news, I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. Why, what? I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self, thanks. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It is a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk that we managed to sell them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and the thorns. <laughs> that's funny. Yep, Azaria is a real paradise. Huh? No, don't go! <laughs> well, you actually can't go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. All right, so we gotta go find our house and open a welcome package. I promise, you'll love it here. All right, we got a world map, so hit M to open that. Oh, look at this place. This is cute. There's a homestead, and then I can track it. So I can track it like that. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. But yeah, I love farming games. I love farming similar games. I really wish I had my hair fixed, but maybe we can fix it later on. If not, oh well, we'll live with it. So, looks like we're going up this way. Oh, this is my house. Oh god, I got a lot of mail. Well, apparently this one package is all that mail. Dear future friend, once upon a time, an island called Azaria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventurer can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azaria? Merit the Mayor. Alright. Whoa, look at our new house! Oh, it's so cozy. Okay, backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack. So, like, I for inventory. Okay. So, hit I now. Okay. And outfit. Can I change my hair color? No. Wait, I can get wings? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's return to Merit. Oh, you're right here. Hi. Uh -huh. Hi! <laughs> Azaria is the better 
for having you. Redeem quest. Moving in. So, what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azaria is a perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special love purple poodle touch. We're gonna call it the bakery. Don't tell me what you named it. It's just between you and your farm. All right. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one. Right here. This is the farm. <laughs> yes, okay. It's seen better days. And will require some elbow grease, but you survive a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long time to place, not with your own set of brand new tools. All right, got a star set. Look at all those tools. Keep on your energy. Okay. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done. And you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the docks. Tackle tougher jobs. By clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting wild greens from the land around your home, you can keep all the materials together. And not from, it's just try. So I need to tidy up. Alright. Let's get started. So how do I like switch? Is it tab? Is it numbers? Do I click this? Alright. How do I do this? All right. Oh God, I didn't. Mean no, stop hitting it now. <laughs> oh, I need to pick stuff up right now. Anyway, so do I like click it? Okay, so I gotta do that. Okay, and I automatically pick it up. And start with the logs. All right, that's all done. And now I'm here, so we need to harvest these flowers, these pink fibers. All right, now we need to pick up stone and pick up wild spring greens. So I like pick it up like this. Pick it up like that. All right. There's some more. St there's some more stone. Yunk. Dunk. Dunk. All right, now we gotta pick up some wild spring greens. Is these? Okay, yeah, they're these. Ooh, forging level two already. Nice. Now to turn to merit. Hi! Azuri is the better for having you. Let's redeem our quest. Nice job! Now you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself. But it's as easy as falling down. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just take your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azaria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by building a... Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. All right, so you gotta craft and place a round woven stool. All right, so let's go inside, I guess, and then craft. All right, so is it I to craft? No, it's not. Is it escape to craft? Almanac? Tools and crafting? Crafting stations? All right, how do I make, um, construction? Let's see, is it here? The round woven stool, more information. Yeah, how do I, how do I build it? How do I build it? <laughs> how do I build it? Wait, 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 there was something at the bottom screen there. There's something at the bottom screen. See? Oh, that's how you build it. Okay. All right then. I'm just put it there for now. I'm gonna turn to merit. Oh, it looks like that increased my energy. So it looks like I'm guessing uh, the more furniture you have in your house, like the higher your energy will be. Reminds me of Portia and Stand Rock. <laughs> you're doing quests. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Lapro Poodle. Really, I'm impressed. 
Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. <laughs> oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles the Postman will deliver you letters and packages first thing in the morning. So don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire in your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. That's, there's all kinds of things you can cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some wild greens around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. All right. So let's see. See, how about the cooking fire? Okay, not big at all, so we'll just set it here. And I'm assuming we can move, always move it later. And then... <laughs> Sorry, I was reading something. And then we'll go here and prepare one. And that's just gonna take time, okay. Alright, X collect all, and we'll go back. And then let's return to Merit. Let me see what you've cooked, Love Purple Poodle. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using a different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Love Purple Poodle. When is Mara going to teach me about farming? Right now! Let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, that's kind of some needed information, Merit. You'll get the materials in your storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay, I can do that. Soon, you'll be enjoying fresh Azorian produce. You are going to be so self-sufficient, you can thank me later. Alright. Use that. Okay, so let's grab- Oh, not what I meant to do. Let's see, let's, uh, transfer everything, I'm guessing. And let's craft some soil beds. So, C for the catalog. Farming, soil bed. Okay, good, soil beds are not that big. So let's go here, here, and here, I guess. And then let's plant some turnips. Three. All right, and let's go to Merit. Wonderful job, love purple poodle. Soon your fields will be sprouting with grown, wait, ground grown goodness. Say that three times fast. No, I'm not. Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your field. As farmers will say, don't leave them alone. <laughs> we have fun. You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you aren't even thinking about the harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the, Mo the Mariner. He's probably near his home in Say a Wild Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Alright, let's go meet Eddie. Right, that's right. M, and then I can track it. And then exit, and then I can track. Yeah! Don't I need to water these, though? Yeah, let's water these. Alright, yeah, as I say, I think I need to water these. Because she did mention the watering. This way, I'm guessing. Is this the right way? I don't know. I don't know the roads here. I just need to, like, head to the bottom left of, of the town. Here's Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Yeah. Hello, land lubber. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Redeeming quest. Whoopee. Good to see you, love, world poodle. If no one sold you, I'm Eddie, as a real old mariner. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hunt that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that. You haven't lived until you fished. Believe me, give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Sounds good to me. Hot dog! I'm ready whenever you are, love, purple poodle. <laughs> Alright, go out there and catch a fish. Any kind you like, salt or fresh water. I'll even give you my old rod. May, ser may it serve you well. Sweet. Now hold a rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then reel it in a bit at a time. Not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish has been, you get to reeling fast. Now all I want though, if your line turns red, it's ready to break. But stop for a while until it turns white again. Keep it up, and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and tell them, tell me all about it. Alright. This might be a little weird. Okay, so now I can actually, like, switch some tools up. Okay. A fish near its mouth. Oh god! <laughs> I didn't realize I can go into water! <laughs> Mm. 
Let's see, where's a the fish? There's a fish. Oh, no, don't go in the water! <laughs> no! Okay, that's not the worst fishing system in the world. Definitely not the worst. All right, let's go back to Eddie. Ahoy! Oh. Ah, oh, you seem to have done well for yourself, love purple poodle. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. I look so confused. Mel the beekeeper. Mel the beekeeper. That's funny. I can teach you about critter catching and you are going to want to pay attention to that. Let's go see Mel the beekeeper. The ones who get it get in, the ones who don't, don't. Alright, let's go, I guess, this way. What is this? I keep seeing it shining. <laughs> Oh, okay, those are things I need to collect. All right, that's good to know. Wait, no, I need to go up here. And then over here. Hello, Mel. Hello. Let's redeem a quest. A new face! When I heard someone washed up on shore, I could hardly believe it. Hmm. Love purple poodle, eh? So nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover boot to have made it past the whirlpools. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees all have been a buzz about it. I look so upset at his puns. You moved into the abandoned farm. Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azoreans by a wide margin. Now, don't worry about how critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Enjoy, uh, enjoy. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, spread your net and approach the critter. So, 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 so. We're not gonna talk about that. Why don't you go take a couple swings and catch a few critters, and then come back and show me. I just know you're gonna catch the critter catching bug. Alright, let's catch him four critters. And before we do that, this has been eyeing me up. Oh, cool. Clay brick path. Interesting. Okay, so now that's there. Okay, so if I hold sneak. Alright. Boop. Alright, that's not too hard. Where's another bug? Where's another critter? Where's another critter? I need a critter friend! Wait, what's like, what's this? Oh gosh! Oh, I should have died! Oh god! <laughs> There's so much happening right now. Okay, like, hey, what's this do? Alright, it bounces you back up. Okay, that's good to know. So, boom. All right, <laughs> all right, we made it up. Let's let's go back. <laughs> Wait, that's a snail. I thought it was a squirrel. Right, let's go talk to him. All right then. Well, how did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you become an avid critter catcher. Cat 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 Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know, there are many critter collectors on island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Azaria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency no one told you. Yeah, you know, that, that is some pretty important information no one's told me. Well, selling things is really Pearl's specialty. She's a chairwoman of the Merchants Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you, Love Purple Poodle. 
Red is gonna be Pearl. All right, so M. All right, so back and then escape. Almanac. I'll uh, look at all that later. Quest. Mel. Go. All right. Let's go find Pearl. What's this? Oh, okay. Some sort of pedestal. Interesting. What is this? Oh, it's energy. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to get earlier. I just fell. Who are you? Oh, you're Pearl. Hi, Pearl. <laughs> Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Love Purple Poodle. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchants Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of, am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? It's true! You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market, and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now's not the time for questions. It's the time to learn! Pay attention, because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azaria sells. Everything. Plant fires sold. Clay sold. Spring paper sold. And it's so easy a chuckoo could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on these tables, and by the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who's buying everything? Don't worry about it. Azaria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a book that says one Azaria's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketing table to sell them. Mayor Mayor we will be so happy with your participating in Azria's economy. Find her when you're done. Alright. So wait no, this isn't this is not the market. I don't think I think this is someone's house. <laughs> where's the mar is the market up here? Girl, where's the market? Where the market at? if this was the market but I don't know is this a market now oh this is the oh it's outside I'm stupid we sell our bugs and our fish and yeah, this is good actually no let's take our fish because we can probably cook that let's sell our green cook greens yes and now Mara is somewhere around here oh you're right here <laughs> All right, we finished chapter one. You're back, love, Purple Poodle. I've been hearing such wonderful things about you. Sounds like you're becoming a real Azarian and aren't furious with getting shipwrecked here. That's a guy. Who, yo, we stand representation in this household. Yay, all's well that ends well. You'll get a house and a farm when we get our first new resident. Well, I can't remember. I don't actually remember when the world pools appeared, but things weren't going great even before that. But nothing you can't handle. Now that you've got your tools right in that, you can handle anything. Mmm... I'm not sure about that. So many questions. There will be plenty of time for answers, but you must be so tired of talking. I am. How about we put a pin in this and you head on home? Great. Hey, I think you're going to do a great thing for Azaria. All right. Oh, we got a new bar up here. Looks like it's magic or something. Oh, okay. That's... Oh, okay. That's actually the end of the day. Oh, we got some money. A thorny problem. Okay, then. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for joining, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and comment down below if you would love to see more Fae Farm. As always, I will see you next time, Noodle Poodles. Bye-bye!